Hi, my name is Victor Bart. Welcome to Ray Draw Machines. And in a few videos ago, I uh, played with this uh, silicon graphics indie machine, but I couldn't get it to work because I didn't have a working monitor. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. If you want your circuit board design realized and printed, you should check out PCBWay. Starting prices as low as $5 for one or two layer design with worldwide shipping. Place your order now, links in the description. And what I found out that uh, there's probably nothing wrong with the machine, but I need a monitor with sync on green. So, what did I do to solve that? I bought this Sun Monitor in the Home Computer Museum. Only when I posted online, <laughs> someone said, yeah, great monitor, but it doesn't have sync on green. So, yeah, let's try out in this video if this silicon graphics any machine can take this sun monitor and if that person was right or not about that it doesn't have sync on green. And I really <laughs> hope that <laughs> it will work because this monitor is so freaking heavy and if it's not working I just bought... 30 kilos of unusable stuff <laughs> yeah let's not think about that so before we continue let's vote in the comments a this will work or b this won't work or c the machine will work with a monitor but this not this monitor and I need to find a different solution yeah let me know a b or C. So uh, yeah, let's uh, <laughs> let's try this out. And the uh, monitor plug is this 13 W3 monitor plug. Oh, and I really need to clean this. Bart, you need to clean your own computer museum. <laughs> but this was not in the collection of what's inside of the museum. But this was more. It comes in into the museum. But it's not a thing to display in the museum, so he will uh, sell it sometimes just to make some funds for the museum and to keep it up and running. So let's uh, connect this cable and here we have the monitor input and at least it fits. And we have here a silicon graphics keyboard, but I think this is just a PS2 keyboard. So nothing too special. It looks a little bit wrong, a silicon graphics keyboard with a sun monitor. So I hope the purists just tune out of this video because yeah, I think it will be a mess. <laughs> so let's see, where does the keyboard go? Oh, this for the 3D classes. Oh, here the keyboard. And this silicon graphics machine is loaded with hardware. But I have an overview of that in my previous videos about this machine. So we're just gonna focus off on the monitor and get in a display out of this. Uh. This sun monitor is really cool because here in the front we have a remote control for all the settings. I never seen that before on monitors. But this one has it and there's also a battery inside so <laughs> probably if we can get it running the battery will be empty and we can't change any settings. But that is a problem for later. I think we are very lucky with LCD technology in terms of size and weight and usability. The image quality you can discuss about but the weight and the size. <laughs> Let's see if it will blow up or not. What a heavy uh, monitor. <laughs> Can we turn it on? Okay, that's a nice monitor sound. Click clack. Let's uh, turn on the silicon graphics machine. Oh yeah, I forget, the Indy has some cool sounds. But, will it give a display? Or, 
Is it just the sink on green uh, problems again? I don't think this monitor is compatible. <laughs> uh, why is my life so hard? I was just thinking, let's buy a sink monitor because they have sink on green and then my life will be easy and I can make a video with this silicon graphics in the machine and show you the machine that I also never used before and <sighs> let's wiggle with the cable maybe that helps but to be honest I think that random person on the internet was right that doesn't work I have one monitor option left that's also a sun monitor and it's LCD and I heard that those have sync on green but they are not right now here in my studio so I need to pick them up and then try them out and otherwise I have an option that I can borrow a silicon graphics indie monitor so yeah that will be for later this year if I need to go that route so yeah let's uh, get that other monitor and see you in a few days and in the edit it will be the next part of this video bye I just came back from my workshop I worked on my Unimog camper today and I got this uh, out of the storage this is a Sun 19 inch monitor and some say it supports sync on green so uh, yeah let's find out and yeah I had it mounted in an array of three monitors so the normal stand is not here I have it somewhere but let's just try it out and this uh, has a DVI input and a VGA input and this is a Sun 2055TVC 0838P8 0642 why does it have a normal product number um, color flat panel display <laughs> oh Sun product number 36514321 and this is a 19 inch uh, panel it is 1280 by 1024 5 by 4 so uh, yeah let's uh, see if this will work so uh, connect the cable <laughs> put it somewhere here <laughs> this is not practical without the stand <laughs> Okay, the display is on. Let's see where the cable spaghetti goes. And I can't find my uh, cable from the 13W3 to uh, VGA directly to the monitor. So I have two cables. So I hope it works. <laughs> Otherwise, I need to search for the other cable. And I really don't know where it is right now. But the guy that donated the uh, silicon graphics in the machine gave me both of the cables. So that was really generous of him and really handy. If it works. Okay, the monitor has some power led. Okay, the moment of truth. Will it give a display? Hey, it gave gave something. Hey, it gave a flash. So the power uh, is now green, but I don't see anything on the screen. Hmm, it works half. <laughs> Okay, the screen was flashing again. I see some really dark lines here on the screen and they are flickering. So there's something going on, but I don't see any text or information or logos or something.
not sure what an SGE Indie should do because I never used one. So is this normal? Or is there something wrong with the machine? So yeah, please give me some uh, input about what can be happening right now. It looks like this monitor is somewhat compatible with this machine. I saw someone online that even had a monitor like this and he painted this this kind of blue and it was really color matching. But this is not giving any display with information. So there's probably something still wrong. So this monitor and the LCD monitor didn't work on the silicon graphics in the machine. So yeah, I need to uh, rethink my plan. I was really hoping that this was the solution because I also like the Sun brand a lot and yeah, I probably will keep the monitor and I'm gonna look for a Sun IPX machine or something like that, a little lunch box. But I have something different that I want to talk about and that is a little bit more serious and that's the future of my YouTube channel. I have problems with monetizing for one half years now and I really worked super hard uh, to get it fixed and I had a lot of emails with YouTube and they keep denying it. It's yeah I probably never can make any money of YouTube again because one video had an issue with a spike of 96 euros income then they blocked it and I tried to appeal and appeal and I found out what the issue was and they still denying it and in my opinion the situation I didn't had any responsibility for anything what happened but they still deny it and I'm really done with it so I'm I'm not sure what I gonna do on this channel anymore because it takes so much time to make videos and if there is like only a little reward of the patreons that I have now it's really not worth it to put effort in it to buy stuff I'm really thinking about like stopping this channel or lower the upload to I don't know maybe a few videos a year luckily I had a PCB way for uh, a year contract and that ends in May but also in May I will do a big trip with my Unimog so that timing is right so I can just finish the PCB way sponsorships and then probably focus on my Unimog channel and the travel videos because I really enjoy making them and I less enjoy making the computer videos yeah that's really sad so yeah not sure what I can do about it because yeah I need to have some income because it's not cheap to buy cameras and editing computer and stuff like that so yeah if you really want to keep my channel alive and help me find a solution the the best way is go to patreon support me for one dollar a month or three dollars or Mm, uh, even more if you want to then you can get access to my discord server and yeah that would really help me to keep this running and to get income out of it I really appreciate my current um, patreon supporters we have a great community a really great uh, discord server where we can chat and yeah I re really want to invite you to check out Patreon and join the Discord server and try to keep this channel alive. But in May and June I will take a break and focus on the Unimog and travel and maybe I make a an, an computer video while traveling if I found something cool because that's really 
yeah, you never know what you will find. But just here in the studio playing with the computers, that will be not uploaded in those two months. So yeah, please check out Patreon if you want to keep my channel alive. And uh, thanks for watching.